check this out. I was just washing, cleaning up this head because I actually completed it for the most part. And, uh, well, check it out. Now, I realize that uh, we have been doing exclusively head porting content for the past few episodes, videos, whatever you call them. Well, the reason is because we gotta get these things done. And in order to get them done, I have to work on them. And if I'm working on them, then I can't do anything else. And if I'm not doing anything else, I can't make videos on it. So, head stuff we're doing. Now I'm washing this thing up because I actually got it all done. Let's take a look at the finished product. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a snazzy unit, really. I There's just something about having this raw you know out outside you know just just rough you know garbage look and then you have polish precision performance right there's something always nice about that something neat about that but as you can see we have all the chambers done okay i did not spend too much time trying to get rid of you know, like this, every little bit. Um, we just don't have time. But, look at that. Uh, I will admit, also, this is the original one. We cut it just right to the very edge of what we could uh, in terms of cylinder, inside the cylinder bore. I did not really spend too much time trying to get that level of accuracy. I just kind of eyeballed her right so some of these might be a little smaller than then what this one was but that's fine it's fine for what we're doing check that out all right cut down all those valve guides okay let's flip you over yeah check inside there looks smooth then if we also put you up like this you can see all of our work here okay yeah neat 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 huh uh what else oh right the actual let me kind of hard we opened this area up okay kind of made just the just the bowl area a little larger okay that is the completed head right there and as comparison we have our untouched head, right? That's the chambers, all kind of rough and whatnot. And that's how much meat we cut off the roof of all our ports. Now, I, you know, I picked and choose exactly what it was that I focused on, like the intakes. I focused on trying to get a little more, you know, this area in here a little bigger more flow uh, the exhaust this way trying to get more flow into the exhaust out of the intake and obviously raise the roof and widen the roof to try to get more exhaust out now there's a reason why we picked and choose that specifically mainly because just intuitively that seemed like the most crucial areas to focus on at the time Besides the bowl work, right? Besides the bowl work. Check this out. Now, air acts a lot like a fluid. You know, a very light fluid. You know, like very non-viscous fluid. But a fluid, you know, in of itself, all the same, right? So, if we know that air acts like a fluid, we can possibly test our theories out with another fluid as just a comparison. Water. See what happens when we start spraying some water through some of these ports. Let's start with the intake. We'll just stick her in here. And what do we notice? And I'm moving it around, right? You know, the water, the fluid, always sticks to the roof of the port. And it starts coming out right where we did all of our work. You see that? Right where we widen that out, that's exactly where the airflow is going right in through here and as you can you know maybe tell that's exactly where we took 
chunks of metal out of our combustion chamber and laid this back right there for that reason. Now, the exhaust. Let's come this way. Oh, well, I guess actually we'll come this way. So what more are we doing here? Okay, in the exhaust. You notice anything? Where is all the water going? It's sticking right to the roof. We didn't touch the bottom at all because, well, frankly, it'd be pointless. But we did raise and widen the roof. Why? Because that's where all the airflow's going. Right up here. Check that out. So, I mean, very easily, you can test exactly, you know, if anything that you did made a difference. Very arbitrarily, of course, but, you know, it gives you the answer, the, oh, results, you know. Now, if that wasn't the slickest demonstration you ever done seen, I don't know what is, right? I mean, <laughs> you could visually see what in the world we've spent all this time doing and why we did it. You know, I'd like to say that I came up with that, just, you know, thinking it through. But it, it was complete accident, because I've been spraying this stuff down with oven cleaner, trying to clean it. And when I was washing it off, I... I accidentally stuck the hose inside the port to get all the oven cleaner out and I noticed it I'm like oh that's... <laughs> well no duh you know of course that works so it was still pretty cool though wasn't it you must get clean clean dollar store lemon scented even smells good yes Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, um, of course, now you're not going to be able to see it at all, but I kind of nicked the seat right here when I was, oh, no, I didn't, right here. I nicked the seat right here, um, trying to get rid of this ridge. So, yeah, we're, that's why we waited to the very end before we did anything with the, yeah, valve seats and valve faces and whatnot for that very reason we'll just get it recut no biggie worst case scenario we'll just have it cut for a bigger valve they'll clean anything anything we could have possibly done up so just keep that in mind yes i nicked it that i i assumed i would that's why we did this but enough of that that's empty now uh this other head we have over here, yeah, you can barely see. Here we go. This other head we have over here, um, we gotta get started on it now. Now, the whole time we were porting this head, I was using this, this stone cutter right here. Same one the entire time. Worked really good, actually. Uh, it's a bit slow though. Uh, well, no, it ta it takes away metal pretty good, but you know it's still kind of a little bit slower. I don't mind using it at all. I yeah, I might majoritarily use that on these heads. But believe it or not, well, you you probably already know we had gotten these bits that uh, we had gotten these burrs to do this head with these heads with these nice long ones. That way we can reach in. You know, in through the intake port and reach the bowl there. And, you know, work on the valve guide from here. <sighs> Seemed like a really good idea at the time. Well, unfortunately, my die grinder apparently spins too fast because as soon as these things get up to speed, they wobble. Worse than my shaky phone. Um... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they, they, they vibrate so bad you can't use them. Uh, but for this this head, what I did, I just, I, I cut the shank shorter. So, now we can actually use these bits. Well, once I cut the rest of them down. So I'm going to try using these burrs bits on here. I already started just a smidgen right, oh, somewhere, right there. I already started a smidgen, and... Yeah, this thing does definitely take more metal away. Um, 
it just means I had to be a lot more careful though. I might use this for like taking out large pieces, but I might go back to the stone for really like fine detailing back. Unless I really get used to these burr bits, but we'll have to see on that one. Oh man, but uh, well that's really it for this video because we got a live stream tonight. It's 6.50 right now 